Welcome back to the Roulette of Sadness Naked Gaming Edition with uh, round 2 of Tournament 2 that we end up improvising because of my shitty last continue performance on Chiki Chiki Boy so I decided to start this right away on the very same video because I wasn't even a minute into... Oh, I need to get to the block itself, fuck. It's gonna be tough. Top jumps. Uh, I wasn't even a minute into the videos when, when I lost my last continue, so I decided to... Start a new game right now. Or right then. Seriously, how the fuck do I get up there without momentum? Yeah, I need to like get momentum from down here. But as you can see, if you jump in one direction, you jump all the way in, in that direction too. Even though I'm trying to get up there. All right, save there. No other blocks. That might help. No, the cloud isn't a solid platform either. That will help. Why do they do this kind of bullshit? Problem is that most likely the author of the hack is not even watching this or won't watch this ever. Because this is so old of a hack. 2007, 11 years old. I hate wasting my time in places like this. Is there another? No. I don't think that... Oh, shit! <gasps> I did it, somehow! Oh, man. I don't know what happened, but it won. Oh, no, it's coming this way. The wheels are supposed to be Koopas, by the way. Koopa Troopas. These are Hammer Brothers. Can I do the infinite one-up trick? I've never done it in Mario even, so... Why would they even try here? Would you imagine if it actually worked here? <laughs> no, but I've never done it. Never been able to. I just noticed the hard flag. 3-2. Oh shit, that was an extra life that I could have gotten. There are things that never change in this game. Maybe I made a mistake when I said that nothing, I mean, only the sprite... Okay. There are too many things happening that I don't know where to start. They shortened this level way too much, first. Second, yeah, I mean, they changed the sprites and some elements out of the levels. They didn't change everything, as I said at some point. I don't trust this platform. Oh! They transform. Lakitu into the UFO guy. Fuck you. I know you're gonna go back, but... Oh! Got fooled by these clouds. I think the darker clouds are actual platforms. Ah, this is actually different in every sense, I would say. I mean, some elements are new, some others are lazy town. Ah, oh, fuck, again, I got confused. What's a platform, what is not a platform? Fuck you! Okay, UFO guy still fucks around, even if I beat the level already. Some time. Fucking potable. This guy's is a Kirby enemy.
Oops, the timing for these puzzles in Mario 1 in general are very unpredictable. Sometimes they take a while to go up again and sometimes immediately go up after sinking into the lava. Now they're taking a while. Fuck me. Let's see if I can jump over. Wait, throwing hammers already? Or boomerangs? Whatever they're supposed to represent, maybe? Don't tell me. Yeah, I beat the hack. You found the Dream World. Dream World is saved. 2007 Dark Data. So yeah, this was actually a very short hack. I wasn't expecting to be this short, I was expecting, I don't know, four worlds at least? Well, there was only one more to go, if that would have been the case. But yeah, I guess it, it was fun for what it is. Okay, you cannot skip that. And yeah, that was uh, Kirby's Adventure 2 by, by Dark Data. Super old hack, but I guess it was worth taking it a look. That explains 3-2 being shortened the way it did, I don't know. You know, I expected to suspect something the moment I saw that thing getting a level shortened more than necessary. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys, and next game, shit, I, I completely forgot what game it is. I don't know if it is uh, either the, um, the casual game, the hidden object game, or there was something else in between. Oh, yeah, I think we got Raiden Fighters 2 on the arcade, and then the Hidden Object game. So I guess we'll see you then. Thank you for watching.